I made a community post a while back about collecting a diverse selection of clocks and how I think that's always a good idea to expand out of one region to another region. I've collected American, German, Asian, and Soviet. And this is another Soviet example. This is a USSR clock called a Vesna. These are quite common, especially in Eastern Europe. I got this clock from Ukraine. There's a bit of scratching on the glass on the dial, but that's to be expected with age. Otherwise, the finish is really nice here. It's still nice and shiny. And for a Soviet clock, it's uh, fairly substantial. It's a time-only piece, and the movement is accessed from the back. <laughs> this uh, clock is long. You look at it from the front, and you're like, huh... That's a nice, compact, tiny little clock, and then you turn it to the side, and you're like, oh. But, nonetheless, this is the back. There's Cyrillic on it. I'm well aware that the Soviets were usually straightforward with the way they dated their creations. I'm gonna guess that this was made in September of 1958 by this marking here. I could be wrong. I probably am. But, uh... When I see uh, markings like this, I think it's Soviet dating, and the Soviets were really straightforward with that, and made it a universal thing. I apologize for my Russian butchering, but this says strilki, which means hands in this case, or arrows for the uh, front of the clock, so you use this hole to adjust the hands. And then this one down here says Zavod, which in this context means winding mechanism. So this is the hole you use to wind the clock up. Zavod can mean a few different things. I've seen a lot of these clocks on eBay, and this is one of the first ones I've ever seen that has this window here that allows ease of access to the escapement so that you can regulate it. There's the platform lever escapement back there jeweled incredibly high quality all things considered there's also actually still an original price tag on this thing you can see that it says vesna there and it's 14 rubles six kopeka so that's basically dollars and cents the russian equivalent to that by now you've also probably noticed that the holes are covered up by these two pieces of metal and then there's this metal knob here between them this is actually a dust cover design, which I am a huge fan of. This is so cool. I really like it. So you turn that knob, and then you have access to the winding arbors. There's the winding arbors for the hands, and then you wind up the clock with that. And here's the key. So just to show you that Strelki is the hands. Let me try and demonstrate this. You kind of have to put pressure on it, so I might not... Yep, there we go. So you can move the hands like that, or I'll show you, you can open this bezel. You wind the clock using this hole, take my word for it. And then once you're done, you just close the dust cover, and dust will not be getting into there. Pretty much sealed at this rate, unless you leave this flapped open, which is kind of easy to do. Sort of, if gravity isn't on your side. In this particular clock, you can open this bezel as well to set the time oops kind of flung it open there i'm going to try not to do that in the future but i had to do it with one hand and you can also set the clock like this and once you're done you just close the bezel it's a fairly stiff bezel the reason why that there is a wind up arbor on the back and then this bezel here opens. It's kind of redundant. Uh, this mechanism, this movement, was used in various different styles of clocks. And most of those clocks did not have an openable bezel like this. It's possible to open this gently with one hand. So now I'll show you the inside. Here's the inside of the Vesna. I really like how substantial this movement is. For it coming from a communist country, I think this is extremely solid. I mean, 
look at the size of that mainspring and the quality of the gear work. And then that really nice jeweled platform lever escapement. There's a serial number there. This arbor is for the time, and this one is for winding the mainspring, obviously, since it kind of comes out of the mainspring. Great clock. I'm really happy to add that Vesna to my collection of Soviet clocks. I have this Vostok Komendersky clock. I have this Raketa military watch. This little Slava alarm clock. And now this one. I think my next hunt is going to be for a musical alarm clock from the USSR. Because I see some of those on eBay. And I want to snag one because I am a sucker for clocks with music boxes in them. But that's it for now. So I'll catch y'all later. I hope you like my Vesna. Bye bye